Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 5 of the video series on Postgres with RibMGR High Availability Cluster Lab Setup. Today we are going to test the replication, simulate the failover and perform switchover scenarios. If you are new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. The information and links I am going to cover in this video are listed in the description below. With all that being said, let's jump right in. I have switched to the terminal, connected remotely to the three nodes using SSH. We are going to make sure that the application is working fine between the primary server and secondary servers. First thing we need to find out is which node is the primary server. To do so, we need to run this command, which is ribmgr cluster show. Let me zoom in, hit enter. You can see here that the, the primary node is the first node, which is OL9-PG1, and the status is running. Now we come to know that the first node is the primary one, and uh, the second and third are secondary servers, or standby servers. Now we need to test the replication by creating a test DB. But before we create the test DB, we need to make sure that this database is not available on the Postgres database. So let me zoom in first to the primary and let's run the bsql command and then do dash uh, backslash l like this. You can see here that the test db is not created and also not available on this uh, node or this server. So let me zoom out. Now I will zoom in here to the second node and let's run bsql again and do dash l. We can see here also it's not available or not, not created as well here. Let's zoom out and let me zoom in to the third node. Let's run psql and do like this and see it's not also created here. So once we create the test db from the first node or the primary node it could be replicated to the secondary servers. So let me zoom out. I will come here. Let me uh, quit from here and clear the screen and let me create db test db clear the screen and go to the bsql and check you can see here that the test db is created here so let me zoom out i will zoom in here to the second node i'm right now on the secondary which is the second node let's do the back backslash l again and we can see that this db is replicated to the second node zoom out and go to the third node and do the same practice backslash l and see that the test db is available here now we need to do cleanup let me quit from here do clear the screen and now i need to drop db test db now i remove the test db so let's test again that i'm successfully cleaned up this database you can see here that this database is removed from the primary let's check again zoom in to the second node it should be also cleaned up from here and the same on the third node let's check here we can see that the database is removed so the replication configuration is working fine between the primary and secondary servers so let me clear the screen and back again to the terminal Returning to the terminal, in this chapter we will try to perform the bland switchover. In some cases we need to perform a switchover if the primary server needs a reboot, update, upgrade, hardware replacement or any other reason that makes the primary server temporarily unavailable. To perform switchover we need to follow those steps. First we need to make sure which node is the primary. To find out which server is the primary we need to run this command ribmgr service status let me just zoom in and hit enter. We can see here that the first node is the primary server and the status is running. To check the cluster, we can run here the cluster show to make sure that's also the cluster running smoothly and everything is fine. Once we have the primary, which is the current session that I am logged in right now, which is the BG1 is the primary, we need to pick one server to promote it as a, a new primary. For example, I will take the second node, which is BG2, to promote it as or a switch over to it uh, to become a new primary for our cluster. Let me clear the screen, zoom out. Before we switch over, we need to monitor the log files. Let me just first zoom in to the second node and run the log file, which is ribmgr.log, to make sure that everything is fine. We can see here that the replication or upstream monitoring is in normal state. That means everything is fine and it's replicating and getting data from the primary. Let me zoom out and let's run also the same command on the third node and make sure let's zoom in the same. It's also in normal state. 
there is no any issue inside it and let me also run it on the first node tail minus f var log ribmgr ribmgr.log and let me zoom in yeah we can see here that's the primary node is in normal state that's mean everything is fine here let me zoom out and now we need to perform the switch over on the second node here so let me zoom in here and to perform the switch over we need to do this command the command is ribmgr standby switch over dash dash siblings follow dash dash dry run because i am switching from the first node to the second node we need to tell the third node that's the new new primary is the second node this will tell the third node to follow the new primary so let's give it a dry run first and see if all the prerequisites are met to switch over you can see here that's yeah we can see here the prerequisites for executing standby switch over are met so let me just zoom out and let's monitor here the log while we are switching over i will remove here let me just clear the skin like this i will remove from here you can see here i will remove the dry run and i will perform the switch over let's wait We can see here that the standby promote successfully and also promoting standby to primary which is the second node right now is become a new primary let me just check that i will run rib mgr or we can run it like this from here let me zoom in and let's see let me run it again we can see here that the new the new uh, primary is the second node right now so i promote the second node to be a new primary that means everything is fine and the switch over successfully accomplished sorry to interrupt you here please if you find my videos are informative like and share them with others that's helped me a lot returning back to the terminal in this chapter we will simulate the automatic failover this can occur if the primary server goes down for any reason such as a network issue operating system shutdown hardware failure or any reason that caused the primary server unexpectedly not reachable before we begin simulating the failover or automatic failover we need to make sure which node is the primary server to do that we can run right now this command ribmgr from any node ribmgr service status and check which is which node is the primary so we can see that the second node is the primary and also it's running now we will stop the service on the postgres service on the second node but before we are performing this we will try to simulate the failure on this node on the second node but we need to monitor the rib mgr service from the log file so let us tail minus f the log file on second node on third node and on first node and let's see which node will become the new primary so let me here perform sudo systemctl stop postgres service now we will wait now we can see here that the second node right now telling us there is some issue so try right now to bing can see here that's the second attempt of six attempts the third fourth one fifth one sixth one now the new primary become the first node i can see here that's follow new primary ol9 bg1 now the third node follows the first node and we can see here also new standby which is the third node right now connected to the first node and this node is failed now let us check here the status let me just zoom in and rip. let's check the status we can see here this primary is failed and now the new primary is the second the first node and the standby is running and follow that new primary to fix the problem on the second node and to fix the failure we need to perform the something called rejoin tail node so we need to rejoin this node to the cluster so to do that we need to run this command on the second node let me just paste this command here we can see here that rib mgr node rejoin minus d this is the connection we need to connect the host this is the primary because we have the primary right now let me check here the primary here is the first node the new primary the running primary so we need to get the connection string to connect to the new primary and then this is the connection string then force rewind dash dash verbs dash dash dry run this will give us if it's the prerequisites are met or not let me just hit enter we can see here that the execute node rejoin so the prerequisites are met so let me 
clear the screen and let me just remove the dry run you can see here that the node rejoined successfully let me clear the screen and let's run this command again and let me clear all the screen from here we can see here that the second node is standby again and the issue also fixed on it and right now it's available as a standby and we can see here that the cluster back again running smoothly let's check back again if everything is fine let me zoom in yeah we can see that everything is fine and the primary back again running as a primary and the second and third node are standby servers so that is the testing replication plan switchover and automatic failover scenarios i hope you guys find it informative take care and i will see you all next time